Hi guys, Sandy from the Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to look at two player drills. Now, maybe you've just come out of self-isolation and you're only allowed two players on the court, or you and your training partner are looking for ways that you can train together. So in this video, we're gonna go over some consistency exercises that work on forward and backward movement. Now there are hundreds of two player drills, so I'm gonna categorize these ones into the action where you're moving up and down the court, but you're also working on consistency and accuracy with your partner. To begin with, we're gonna have a warm up exercise which has a few different progressions, and then we're gonna go into four of these exercises. So these warm up exercises are so useful. Even the professional players, they do a lot of these touch games and control games before they're hitting at the back of the court. And in this one, we're basically aiming for the cone. And then when we hit the cone, then we gradually move further back in the court. And you can do this where you only hit forehands or you only hit backhands, or maybe you say that you have to alternate. So one forehand, one backhand, and make sure you're moving around that cone. The amount of students that I have that say to me they're not hitting the ball well when they start hitting 100% at the back of the court without these controlling exercises. Now this is really important to add into your practice. This first exercise is an, almost an extension of the warm up where you have one player at the back hitting normally, and then the other one he comes, hits one off that back glass or at the back of the court, comes forward and volleys that next ball. So he's the one who's moving up and down the court just at a nice slow pace because the other person's at the back of the court it's quite easy to control you want the other player to be hitting one nice high over the net so that he has time to come forward and volley because again they're working together as a pair now we're going to do it this time with the person at the net now you can see that even here my speed has to increase a lot because he's at the net I have less time to get forward so I have to hit that ball off that back glass and come forward with the action into that volley position this is a good little exercise to get your heart rate a little bit higher and also it's very specific to paddle. This might look confusing but here you start with one player at the net so the player at the net now he volleys the next one he lets past him so it goes off that back glass he runs back hits the ball to the volleyer and then the next ball he's passing so it's three shots and you rotate and both players can do this exercise at the same time you want to do it in control and obviously once you hit that passing shot you have to hit a bit harder and deeper so they can play that ball off that back glass this is a slightly more advanced exercise but once you get into the routine of it it's actually really good for moving up and down the court In this exercise, you have one person at net and the player at the back, he gradually moves in a little bit every time he hits a shot. And when you get to net, then it's your partner's turn to gradually move their way back. So hitting a ball, moving back, trying to keep your nice body position and balance over the ball as you're moving back. And then he comes again up to net gradually again. And then when he gets to net, it's your turn to be the one that's moving back. Again, you're doing this with nice control, trying to keep good posture and balance and hit the ball so you're working with each other, moving forward and back on the court. So you can adapt any of these exercises. If you want to make the exercise more difficult, you can play a little bit faster, but the aim is that you're working with your partner. A lot of the two player drills are based around consistency. So you want to be working with them to try and get some accuracy on your shots and not making any mistakes. Now what you can do to make it more interesting is you can add a live point element at the end. So for example, once you've done the routine of the drill, three or four rotations, on the next rotation you can say it's a live ball and play that point out either down the line or cross court if you're doing a drill cross court. There are plenty of two player drills. So in this one, we're looking forward or backwards. The next set of drills, we'll look at a different part of the game. Please don't forget to subscribe, make a comment down below if you've got any questions and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.